Denver from Cape Town Tourism. The Travel Massive in Cape Town isn't that old. It's only about what, a year or so, but it's become quickly one of the strongest chapters there is worldwide. Uh, why is that? And talk about your relationship with them. Well, I think there's a few reasons, but the one that immediately comes to mind is is that there's a, a required for connectedness, but not just from a mobile sense, is that you know travel is about people. And sometimes we forget that. And what Travel Massive allows you to do is actually connect people that have a passion for mobility in some form or other, but the willingness to want to connect in a social sense. And not only in the technological one, but also in the physical one. And I think Travel Massive provides you know, a, a platform for that to happen in a seamless way that doesn't feel that it's being fabricated. And we always struggle to say, how do we actually get them to engage with one another? Because as the tourism board, they expect us to do a lot. When you actually get to experience Travel Massive and you start working with like-minded people and it's about that sharing, that you start creating new relationships which then creates other opportunities of you know, learning. And that excites me and was then saying, well, you know what, here's an opportunity for us to use a platform like Travel Massive. Just started making sense. It's about connections. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's an interesting point how you said it's not just about a digital connection because we can all follow each other until the cows come home, but and it's that physical connection. For you, it was actually attending a Travel Massive meetup or when you're traveling, when you're actually with someone, meeting someone, shaking hands in their country, in their city, maybe you go have a meal with them or something like that. That's, as a traveler, is that the essence of it for you too? No, absolutely, and I think it goes beyond that. I think that I've noticed is that because of um, social media and tech, people have actually become quite selfish as much as they say they're there, like selfies and all those things, like they want to immerse themselves. They don't actually connect, but when you start talking, it allows you to actually immerse yourself by trusting someone that you have never met before. Because the shift that we've also seen is that people want to engage with the locals and be with the locals. And that's something that we are driving as a tourism board, is saying how do we make sure that you can um, you know, travel like a local and um, live like a tourist? Because you want the balance of both. And it's amazing the, the innovation that happens in a simple conversation over a napkin, over a good glass of wine or beer. Uh, and, and, and I think that's exciting. It's just you keep challenging yourself to want to learn from others. But it's about the people and connecting it's those stories, it's those things when I lost my wallet and this person helped me. It's about me, you know, getting lost and I couldn't understand the language on the signage and this person just showed me the way and actually walked with me. It's those stories that actually resonate and will leave lasting impressions with you that you'll remember till you're on your deathbed. And it's sometimes in those moments that you create bonds that will last you for a lifetime. For anybody like myself, I have not been to South Africa, I've not been to Cape Town, Give people the once over. I mean, I think there's been misunderstandings about Cape Town for some people. They might say, oh, isn't it dangerous? I don't know. But really, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look here, yeah, it definitely is gorgeous. Um, but I think the important thing here also to remember is that with all destinations, about perceptions. And, you know, how do you deal with perceptions is to tackle that head on. But the one thing I will say that's significant about Cape Town um, is that anybody who goes there is blown away, not just by its beauty, but they seem to always want to go back. And that's what a lot of destinations actually don't get right continuously, is that they're willing to go there once, but once you actually experience Cape Town, it gets under your skin. It's this weird as everything, and, and I use the, my favorite analogy is saying, when you play scratch cards for lottery, you know, and it's like a destination, you scratch and hopefully you win. With Cape Town, every time you scratch, every time you scratch, you win. And I think that's the best way for me to sum up in the simple way of what Cape Town means to people. Excellent. Thanks so much. It was great to meet you, and uh, I'm going to be scratching off that lottery and, and for South Africa and for Cape Town really soon. So, mind if we hang out there? Is that cool? Absolutely. Uh, no way to find me. Thanks so much. <laughs> Excellent. Cool.